my years of rescue, you know, I've come across dogs that when looking at them, you're just shocked that they're up and walking, let alone even alive. Oh, you stinky too. Yeah, you see that big yeah. tumor on the Oh my goodness. She needs some help. Oh my gosh. She's like, yeah, help me out. You know, not only did she have skin condition, but you can smell like the yeast and infection and her body was just riddled with tumors. So she was in pretty bad shape. Damn, man, I wonder how she got like this. I... She looked like she'd been out there for That's a while. That's what I'm saying, man. We took her to the vet and we were told at that point, there's nothing they can do until her skin clears up. We decided to name her Valentina and she's been with us for a couple of days now. We've been giving her medicated baths, waiting for her skin to clear up, and, and like I said, it's gonna take a little while. Feels good. At this point, we haven't even been able to tackle the tumors yet. I know. She likes this. She knows we're trying to help her. Yeah. This girl's gonna have a lot of vet visits in her future, and you know, we just hope to be able to help her and get her feeling better. I feel a little better. I'm Dr. Hey, Samantha. My name is Jamal. Very nice to meet you, Jamal. How's she been doing? She's been doing pretty good. You yeah. Know, we um concerned about the tumor Definitely. And, and with the skin. So um Get you put it over here. with her skin condition, the little mites that live in the skin have flared up. Okay. Um, and then she has secondary infections in her skin. Valentina came in and pretty rough condition. She's still got a long way to go, but I was happy to see that at least the hair was coming back in. I'll go ahead and get a little scrape here. Oh, them. Good, sweetie. Oh, them. A little bit more. I wanted to do a couple tests on her skin, so I scraped the skin to look for those mites that live in the deeper layer of the skin. So those mites are what have basically created an abnormal environment in her skin, and then the yeast and the bacteria love how you know diseased the skin is and they just proliferate. I originally, you know, kind of put off surgery because her skin was so diseased, you're pretty much cutting through infected tissue. So I needed to see some improvement in her skin to get her set up for that that surgery. All right, Valentine, she can get down and walk around while I go look at these little samples. I'm worried about the condition that she's in because we're dealing with a couple of different things. But I hope that she's OK to get her surgery done and try to get them tumors off her. All right, so the mites are clearing up. So that's good. So now we're focusing on getting the, the secondary infections under control. Um, I think she's on her way with the skin, though, and then we can focus on the mammary tumors. OK. She has, you know, this large cystic tumor here, but she actually has um, other smaller masses inside of these mammary glands as well. She has the very large pendulous one, and, and actually the ones I'm more concerned about are those smaller firm nodules. Essentially, this is, is partially a problem um, from not spaying. Unfortunately, her not being spayed for as long as she was is actually why we have those tumors. The hormones make them much more likely to get it. So dogs that are spayed at a young age, I don't see that in. The dogs that weren't like she wasn't, that's when I start to see that type of tumor. So this is actually all tumor in here, and this is actually all tumor in here as well. We do need to go ahead and get all of these tumors off, one, and then two, sent off to see what they are. And I am, you know, very concerned that they are cancerous. Hopefully, if we are able to remove all of the tumor and the associated lymph nodes, she could go on to live a normal life. OK. Well, Hopefully let's see. Hope yeah. for the best. Yeah. Valentina has been through a lot, you know. It's always hard to hear that one of the dogs could have cancer. It breaks my heart to see that, you know. Right? She's a sweet girl, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Going into surgery, you never know how it could turn out. Mm -hmm. Let me go take this to the lab and get a skin scrape blade as well. I really just hope, hope for the best. We got a call from the vet this morning with Valentina's biopsy results from the masses that she had removed. Jamal's been caring for Valentina since we got her, so he's the first person that I want to share this news with because I know how concerned he's been. So we got the results back from Valentina's biopsy. Most of them were benign, but unfortunately one of them was cancer. Um, 
But the good news is they were able to get all of it when they removed the tumor and get clean margins. So that means that she is essentially cancer free. Yeah. Good news. That's the best news I heard all day. Yeah, it, I was really excited to hear it too. She's definitely one of my favorites now, so. The news is mostly positive and they were able to get the cancer before it started spreading. They did do a thorough exam and the cancer did not spread anywhere else. There's absolutely a chance that the cancer could come back. We'll have to monitor Valentina for the rest of her life and you know whoever adopts her will have to monitor this as well. So basically all she needs now is to go through heart room treatment, so she has to start her medication for that. And treatment does take a while, so it's gonna be a couple months and then she's good to go. That's, that's, that's great news, yeah. I, was, I was hoping for that. While she's going through heartworm treatment, um, you know, dogs aren't supposed to get really worked up and energetic. She don't want their heart rate to go up. They have to stay calm. You know, when you're petting her, if you feel anything, make sure you let Heidi know, because the quicker you find like a little growth, you know, no matter how small it is, the quicker we can get it removed and keep it from spreading anywhere. Right. All right, I'm gonna go grab her. I just want to make sure he knows what to look for when dogs are going through any type of medical treatment. If he's going to be walking her a lot, he should know different signs and things to look for when something's not quite right. Come on, baby. Hey, girl. Hey, your friend. Hey, check out. Hey, girl. Got some good news today. That Latina. We got some good news today, baby. If you feel anything else, um, every time you're petting her or rubbing her belly or, or whatever you're doing, um, just you know, keep in mind that she was a dog at one point, had cancer, so. Okay. Yeah, we on track. We are on track. One more step. Day. I think Jamal will do a great job taking care of Valentina. It's really obvious that he's taken a liking to her, and he does really care about the dog. It feels good seeing the dogs day by day working with them, and you know, they come a long way from when they first come in. Yeah. Hey, girl. It's so incredible seeing the transformation that Valentina's gone through. She was such a mess when she came in, but it's all worth it because now she's seriously the sweetest dog. She's gonna make someone such an amazing companion. Hey, thank you so much. All right. Bye, Tina.